Hey guys, what's up? You're watching TechLink, and today we're going to be unboxing the Lunar Alloy TKL keyboard and the full sized keyboard. I just want to take a look at these keyboards and see what they're offering. Pulsar is a new company, so I'm just excited to see the presentation of the keyboard with the unboxing experience and just to give my first impressions and initial thoughts on the keyboard. Also, special thanks to Pulsar for sending these out for review, but as you guys already know, that doesn't affect my video or my review in any way. I'm really excited just to get to open these up and just take a look at the keyboard and just checking it out before I do my full review on it sometime later this week. And especially at that $50 price, I think this could be a real great budget option especially for people looking to get either a tkl or full size keyboard for only about 50 or 60 dollars also before we get into the video if you haven't already please hit that like button since it really does help with the channel and if you're new here i make all types of content on gaming tech so if you're interested in this type of content consider checking out the channel and subscribing with that out of the way let's get into the video so here we are we got the keyboard packaging we got the pulsar name on the front of the box as well as their little logo we also got the type of switch it looks like they gave us linears with that matte black aluminum top plate it also tells you on the side of the box where you can get the software from pulsar.gg check that out if you want to pick up this keyboard on the back just more of their logo and just cool design and really the only thing on the box that we need to know about is that they taped it up there's no other real info anywhere else on the box that i see so let's just get straight into it All right, cool. So we got the box open, Pulsar gaming gears on the front, and let's get into it. So it comes with this nice film to protect the keyboard. It looks like you also get a dustproof cover or some sort of plastic covering. And it looks like it does come with those linear red switches on this keyboard, although I'm kind of confused why one of the keycaps is not on. All right, well, that was kind of weird. But anyways, got the keyboard right here, full-sized keyboard. I do really like this cool design they have in here. I think this is just like their mascot or their logo. I think it's pretty sick. It does like what they have on the bottom of the box so that is pretty cool okay so let's let's get this open but yeah this is pretty sick i like it so far so inside of this plastic bag it looks like you do get a switch puller and a keycap puller so let's just open that up and take a look at it it isn't like a wire puller which is a bit of a disappointment i would have liked to see a wire puller since those are better for your keycaps and if this is the only keyboard you have you can damage or scratch your keyboard if you don't have a wire puller but the plastic ring puller does get the job done but i would have preferred to see a wire puller in this keyboard definitely included and they do give you the switch puller since this is hot swappable with other otemu three pin switches just gonna put that off to the side and now you also get what looks like to be either a quick start guide or some sort of manual on how to operate the keyboard let's take a look at that macros lighting effects media control led effects custom led modes and yeah, this is gonna be useful. So make sure that if you do pick up this keyboard, you keep track of this. But if you do end up trying to pick up this keyboard, make sure that this is something you hold on to or reference what I have right now on the screen for any of your needs as far as customizing your keyboard or just changing anything as far as macros rgb lighting leds or anything else like that and it looks like they also included a dust wiper or dust cleaner this is going to be really useful for when you want to get under those keycaps or just clean the keyboard itself and yeah this is actually really useful and for a budget option i think this is a great thing to include so i do give them props for including this they threw in a good amount of things with this keyboard usually with budget keyboards they just throw in the keyboard itself maybe a keycap puller and a switch puller and that's it so it's nice that they gave you the quick start guide a sticker a dust cleaner and yeah this is actually really nice so like that they included this and that's everything that comes inside of the box as you can see the box is completely empty i do like the box and i do like this cool little graphic they have on the inside so i'll definitely make sure to take care of this box and make sure that i don't mess it up and just keep it clean all right so i'm just going to put some of this stuff back into the box right now and then i'm going to plug in the keyboard and get straight to it and just let you guys know my initial thoughts and first impressions before we get into the second half of this video if you haven't already hit that subscribe button because only about three percent of the people who watch my videos are actually subscribed by being subscribed it'll make sure that you don't miss out on any new reviews and i would really appreciate it you guys are the best thanks for watching and now back to the video so here's the keyboard plugged in we are going to customize the rgb effects and get to that in a minute but just my initial impressions of the unboxing is that they do care about the quality they give us a lot they give us a good design box and with the keyboard coming with that dustproof cover 
and the film to protect it. Also, the fact that it had a dustproof cover on the back side as well. We also had a keycap puller, a switch puller, a key guide, a dust remover, and a sticker. Usually, at the budget options, they do only offer like the keyboard and a keycap puller, and that's pretty much it. So, I like what we've seen so far. RGB does seem to be a bit dull on this keyboard, not super dull, but just kind of dull that might be because of the matte black finish white does tend to reflect rgb lighting better so maybe that's something that would look better on a white version of this keyboard but i know as of right now they're only offering it in one colorway so maybe that's something they can improve on a future version of this keyboard So the typing feel of this keyboard does feel really good. They are using a box design. So I'm just gonna open that up. I'm going to use my wire puller that I do have. So the switches are like what would happen if Utemu made box red, blue, or brown switches. These are Pulsar's own mechanical switches, but they are made in collaboration with Utemu. So that's pretty cool. And I like that they did wanna make their own switch, but that box design does make the switch feel a little bit scratchy. I don't really notice it when I'm typing really fast. If I'm pressing on it slow and really trying to feel for it, I can feel a bit of scratchiness just from that box design and that does tend to happen with that. Like I said, in general use, I really wouldn't notice this and while I was typing, it really didn't bother me and I didn't notice it and it felt like a red switch. It felt like a Cherry MX red switch or a Otemu red switch. Now one thing I do wanna mention off the bat that I really am not gonna like is this non-detachable cable. I really do prefer there to be a detachable cable, even if it's a micro USB, although I do prefer a USB type C cable, at least to make it detachable because if I wanna switch out a keyboard, but not wanna switch out the cable that I'm using, or if I just wanna use a custom coiled cable or any type of custom cable, I can't do that because this is non-detachable. And if for some reason I did wanna mod this keyboard and somehow make it a detachable cable, that's still a workaround that the average consumer isn't gonna to wanna to have to do. Well, I do understand that they might've done that to keep the cost down, it looks like they did go with a braided paracord cable so i will give them some points for creativity and yeah i've never seen anything like this so this is pretty cool but yeah i really would just would have liked to see this be a detachable cable so again maybe that's something we could see on a future iteration of the lunar keyboard now you guys might not know this but i almost never use full-size keyboards if you check the channel i've never reviewed a full-size keyboard i always do tkl or 60 percent or 65 percent or even 75 percent just because a full-size keyboard is just way too big usually i'm gaming or i'm doing content creation and just having that full-size keyboard, I've never felt the need for a numpad, and I feel like it just takes up extra space that I could be using for my mouse or something else on my desk that I could be using for extra space. I might end up giving this keyboard away or possibly even to a subscriber, so let me know if any of you guys would like this keyboard. But yeah, I just think this keyboard is really good though, especially at this $50 price point. I am impressed with the aluminum top plate. That is something that's very appealing to me, especially at this price point, because a lot of keyboards, even budget options like the RK61 or the GK61, or even the MC60, all of those keyboards use a plastic case and this just aluminum plate really does give it a more premium feeling. Something else I also noticed and wanna show you guys is that the case on the back is completely transparent. This is something that's really unique and I haven't seen this before. Um, I kinda like it. They even have the brand name on the back and it looks like the PCB is red and they even have a little sticker here, QC Pass. So that's great to know. Uh, so if it does not have that sticker, I guess it did not pass QC and you need to go get a new one. Um, I don't know if that's what they're actually doing, but this one passed QC, so I guess that's good. If you're wondering, these stabilizers are pre-lubed from the factory. They're cherry stabilizers, and from what it looks like, they are pretty good. I haven't seen too much wobbling or instability. The stabs do feel pretty good. Um, they probably could be improved by, you know, clipping them and lubing them, although you can do that with basically any hot swap keyboard. But yeah, if you want to, you can take them out, clip them, reapply the lube, and make them a whole lot better. But I think for the average person that just wants to pick up a budget gaming keyboard, 
so far the stabs are really good and just for overall gaming and regular use i think so far this is a really good option also as you might have noticed there are three leds on the top right of the keyboard those are for caps lock num lock and screen lock so yes these are abs keycaps they are going to pick up some of those oil and fingerprints they're not going to be as high quality as ppt but they are double shot so they are going to be made to last longer than just standard abs keycaps anyways guys that's going to wrap up the video thank you guys so much for watching like i said earlier i'm going to be doing a full review on the channel of the lunar keyboards so if you want to check those out make sure that you are subscribed so you can get my full thoughts and opinion on this keyboard and if you want to get your hands on this keyboard i'll make sure to put a link to it down below in the description so you guys can check it out and go buy one if you guys are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and if you enjoyed the video don't forget to hit that like button like always you guys are awesome thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one